I thank uh, one and all for participating in this uh, uh, Youth Global Summit. I now hand over the platform to uh, Ms. Veronica, Assistant Professor of the Department of Sociology, uh, to uh, take forward the valedictory program, please, ma'am. So a warm greetings once again to this uh, August gathering. So finally, the three-day Youth Global Summit, which started on uh, 15th March, is concluding today. So this is the culmination of uh, the first Youth Global Summit, which is being organized by RGNYD in, in association with uh, UN Volunteers India, the Institute for School-Based Family Counseling USA, and the National Institute of Technology, Uttarakhand, and fully sponsored, supported by ICSSR uh, India. So to begin with, uh, I would like to invite our director, Professor Sibnad Deb, to uh, give us a summary or a brief about how this three-day program, this conference, has finally culminated into this uh, final day of this uh, conference to take us through the learnings of this uh, Youth Global Summit, sir. Good evening, everyone. We have come to end part of our three-day long Youth Global Summit, the, an international conference jointly organized by the Rajiv Gandhi National Institute of Youth Development and Institute of National Importance under the Ministry of Youth Affairs and Sports, Government of India, in association with the Institute for School-Based Family Counseling, California, the National Institute of Technology, Uttarakhand, and UN Volunteers, India, during March 15 to 17. The objectives of this summit were to closely examine the contemporary global concerns and challenges of the youth, review youth development initiatives and programs, policies for a holistic youth development at the global, regional, and national levels, encourage youth development professionals to disseminate their effective intervention models, contribution and success stories, delineate critical youth development areas for focused interventions, recommend requisite strategies, synergic actions for youth development professionals, advocate for global sustainable youth development practices, establish a strong network for youths, researchers, academicians, professionals, officials involved in the youth development activities for initiating collaborative research and inspire young people to evolve as youth leaders, thus initiating youth-led development, which is very important for today's society, as we have a large number of youth population across the society. And as we strongly believe that youths are very energetic, very dynamic, very creative, and they require only proper guidance. And with this, you can mobilize them in right direction for social prosperity, growth, and bringing change in the society. I, as a director of the Rajiv Gandhi National Institute of Youth Development, welcome the guests and delegates on the first day of the program and detail the purpose of the Youth Global Summit. Professor Lalit Kumar Abustiji, Director, NIT Uttarakhand, India, delivered the presidential address while Professor Sushil Choudhury, Country Director of UN Volunteers India, Dr. Brian A. Gerard, Executive Director, the Institute for School-Based Family Counseling USA, delivered the keynote address on the topic, promoting youth development through school-based family counseling during the inaugural session. Brian deliberation was very impressive, informative, and very important for Indian school education policy makers to introduce the similar concept in the developing countries for ensuring healthy mental development and optimal utilization of human resource of young population. Unfortunately, we did not give attention to this issue because we have so many other issues and challenges before us. However, this issue will take it up with the appropriate agency in due course 
and see how we can implement the same concept at the local level to create a better school environment better environment in all education institution for creating a motivating environment for the children dear friends the main theme of the youth global summit was to tap the resources of the youth for social cultural economic and political transformation thus creating a healthy and prosperous global community through partnership the youth global summit had 14 sub themes it is highly ambitious but we made an attempt to check whether and how much we can achieve out of this 14 sub themes the youth global summit had 19 invited speakers from seven countries such as bhutan germany india myanmar sri lanka united kingdom united states of america besides two keynote speakers from usa dear friends one of our keynote speaker professor john scott from school of justice queensland university of technology he could not attend the program because uh, his locality experienced flood which affected his own residence as well as his university so he expressed his inability that in the given situation he is unable to attend we missed his deliberations however we will share what we learned from this program 36 academician research scholar presented their papers during the summit the guest speakers and the paper presenters spoke on the sub themes which includes demographic dividend on youth of youths and its implications youth and education well being of youth and adversities faced by them youth and sports youth and culture youth and work youth and community development youth and climate change and impact of covid-19 on the youth youth leadership and participation in political processes youth work as a profession protecting youth from harm and risk marginalized youth and inequality you can see the diverse areas which got attention of the research scholar other presenters in this program and which was very interesting for every one of us in fact we have got an idea to focus on some new areas related to youth development for our further research through partnership each session and paper presentation the participating delegates actively participated in asking questions adding information and made the interaction very lively on an about 350 delegates participated in this summit although the number varied from days to days all the technical sessions and paper presentations were highly informative and were centered on the youth work cutting across several academic fields such as medicine particularly psychiatry psychology social work education demographic studies population studies development studies public administration rural development management science and technology engineering and other disciplines covering humanities social sciences including professionals from ngos and youth volunteers the lectures and paper presentation dealt with the contemporary issues and concerns of the youth across the globe with special reference to the situation in india which were thought provoking and provided several strategies and recommendations to address these social problems of the youth at large the paper presentation were highly interesting and enlightening for every one of us the youth global summit emerged as a rewarding academic endeavor by led by the rajiv gandhi national institute of youth development by adding new vistas to the existing fund of knowledge in the discipline of youth work we do hope and trust that this global summit 2022 was evidence based bringing in the need for installing imperative values calls for more commitment and responsibility among the youth and the youth workers to create a productivity and healthy future generation that can lead a better quality of life with a positive outlook dear friends one of our objective to come out with some way forward measures uh, which we call it uh, that uh, declarations so we also give a thought based on the deliberations what we learned from all the uh, uh, resource persons keynote speaker paper presenters paper presenters we have come out with the list of uh, statements which we will try to achieve jointly however it requires further scrutiny review 
and also exchange of views and ideas with our partner organizations. But let me read it out what we thought of. As an outcome of the Youth Global Summit, we would like to promote the declaration of the Youth Global Summit 2022 jointly by the organizing institutes and participating delegates by endorsing the need for inculcating the sense of understanding and concern for others and thereby installing the value of humanity among the youth of all countries and, uh, and, an, and an environment against uh, for creating a violence free environment in any form to transform the world into a better place for living. This we thought of because this issue came up again and again that the value of uh, humanity to be inculcated among the youth because they are the future, they can bring a change. We thought of this looking at the present situation, what is happening across the world. We recommended that we recommend that all concerned government agencies, voluntary organizations, civil society, and community-based organizations, including the youth and youth workers, should strive towards holistic youth development at the global, regional, national levels to the maximum possible extent. We call for effective strategies for preparation of information, education, and communication material by the organizations and for youth development for creating much uh, uh, evidence-based educational material for dissemination among youth related to various emerging issues. We agree that working towards sustainable youth development can be achieved through rigorous lobbying and advocacy efforts by all concerned at appropriate levels. We call for suitable synergy between the government and youth organizations to hear the voices of youth and for creation of appropriate spaces and platforms for promoting youth-led development initiatives, which will inspire other youth to evolve as youth leaders and work for the cause of youth development. Ladies and gentlemen, we also endorse the need for creating a network for youths and researchers, academicians, professionals, officials involved in the youth development sector to index and archive their research, empirical evidences based on strategies for addressing the youth issues so that interested individuals, organization can use them for a variety of purposes such as intervention program and further research on different areas of youth development. We affirm that we would take lead role as voluntary as volunteers to serve the needy during the natural calamities, disasters, pandemic situation to lead a helping hand to the youth and other citizens facing adversities. In this regard, I would like to share with you that Arjino ID is already uh, working with the global disaster shock team, which uh, address any issue and challenges which affect the common population at times of disaster and crisis. Now in Ukraine, there are a lot of need for mental health support services. So it is under the leadership of Brian Eggerard. He has already taken the initiative to reach to those population with uh, uh, educational materials uh, to help them to deal with the stressful situation. We recommend that the institution, organization, organizing institutions to provide skill-based education for youth across various sectors covering various categories of youth including those hailing from marginalized disadvantaged sections covering youth who are less educated from rural backgrounds as enshrined in the national youth policy and new education policy towards realizing our national goal for creating a skilled India. We believe that we need to follow inclusive approach and bring all disadvantaged youth population under different intervention program because without their potential, it is very difficult to move ahead fast. We resolve to undertake, undertake concerted efforts to include and mainstream the marginalized youth and ensure equality in terms of education, employment, through creating more awareness on the government schemes and program. We also endorse the need for creating awareness among the youth across the country for helping youth to abstain from high-risk behavior, adopt healthy practices through fitness and sports for creating a healthy young generation, conversing environmental resources and addressing climate change issues. We uphold the need for sensitizing the youth on local governance process and train the youth 
to assume to assume leadership pos uh, positions in local governance for their effective engagement and promoting political participation of youth these are the issues we thought of to bring it out in our declaration which we will again uh, work on it exchange views and ideas amongst us and also exchange the same thing with our partner organizations for their further input and finally we will share this declaration with all international agencies national agencies also it will be uploaded in our website along with a, a brief report of the conference finally i highly appreciate the active participation of all the uh, delegates in the last few days we found that a large number of people attended most of the sessions with proper interest attentively asked lot of questions for clarifications that deserves a special appreciation we are also motivated by the enthusiasm among the resource persons the way they prepared themselves to deliver a lecture which really uh, 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 influenced all the participants to remain attentive and active in attending all the sessions and all the sessions were highly informative based on evidences finally the two keynote speakers their presentation on two different dimensions one on emphasizing on school based family counseling another one on mental health especially after covid and what needs to be done that is eye opener for all of us i also thank all my colleagues from rgnyd and all the colleagues from other partner organizations for their support in various form in organizing the three day youth global summit successfully at the end i congratulate my colleagues <coughs> it professionals other support staff for their collective effort to organize this event a memorable event so it gives a notion to us that we jointly can bring a radical change in the society thank you jai hind uh, concluding remarks on the youth global summit may I now uh, request ms veronica ma'am to propose the formal vote of thanks over to you ma'am uh, thank you david sir so at the outset it is uh, an extreme pleasure for me to propose the vote of thanks on behalf of the rajiv gandhi national institute of youth development rgnyyd and on behalf of our collaborators un volunteers india the institute for school based family counseling usa the national institute of technology uttarakhand and also our sponsor icssr uh, we place on record our sincere thanks to our key speakers Uh, Dr. Brian A. Gerard, who is the Executive Director, Institute for School-Based Family Counseling USA, and Dr. Alan R. Dyer, a Professor of Psychiatry and Behavioral Sciences, George Washington University. Uh, we place on record our thanks for sparing your valuable time, for taking the time to prepare very meticulously and elaborately. fitting the theme and purpose of this youth global summit uh, whatever deliberations that came from your lecture your keynote uh, address it resonates with what we need to do especially for engaging positive youth development so on behalf of the organizers we express our sincere thanks to our keynote speakers dr brian and dr allen we also extend our sincere thanks to all our invited speakers spread across various institutions from india and also from various countries we thank you all our keynote speakers our invited speakers for very generously and kindly accommodating to our timing uh, we understand the timing the country time differences but you were very generous enough to accommodate as per the schedule of the institute so uh, the rich expertise and research that you provided in this deliberation it has definitely enriched and strengthened the purpose of this youth global summit we are extremely thankful to you 
Uh, at the outset, we also extend our appreciation and thanks to our collaborators, UN Volunteers India, the Institute for School-Based Family Counseling USA, the National Institute of Technology Uttarakhand. Uh, without your networking support, this program wouldn't have reached its scale. So your collaborative support have ensured the extent to which the purpose of this Youth Global Summit reaches across countries and especially across the young target population. So we appreciate and we value your collaborative support and we look forward to many more collaborations in this regard. Uh, whenever we conceptualize a program, of course, without financial assistance, the program also has a lot of constraints and limitations. But the Indian Council of Social Sciences Research, ICSSR, has graciously sponsored this program, the Youth Global Summit, and we appreciate your support for sponsoring this program in its entirety. And we also appreciate the effort taken by our director to bring in this sponsorship for the Youth Global Summit. Behind every successful program are a number of people, the team who work behind the curtains. So first and foremost, our extreme thanks to our director, Professor Sibna Dev, who conceptualized this Youth Global Summit he ensured that RGNIYD as an institute for youth development should host, should collaborate, and should have discourse on youth development to enable and realize youth development for youth-led development, for youth-led sustainable development. So it is the brainchild of our director, this Youth Global Summit. And to an extent, it is a flagship program of the institute. So, but for the support, but for the conceptualization of our director, this program would not have been successful. So right from the conceptualization to its materialization, this three-day program, and finally its culmination today, it has been possible due to the wide network which Sir has, and he has roped in the best resource persons as well as also enabled the sponsorship for this program. We are extremely thankful to you, sir, and for giving us this opportunity to organize this program. We are extremely thankful to all our paper presenters. As soon as this schedule was announced, we were overwhelmed with the number of submissions. Uh, we were overwhelmed with your participation, your presentation, very engaging deliberations throughout all the technical sessions. So, but for your presentation, this Youth Global Summit would not have been successful. So we appreciate your sincerity and the dedication with which you had done your presentations as well. So the deliberations across the technical sessions through our paper presenters will be reflected in what sir, is being reflected in what our director, sir, has just shared with us, the RGNIYD RG declaration through this Youth Global Summit. We are extremely thankful to all the delegates who have presented papers or strengthened this Youth Global Summit, believing in us and being with, their, being with us with your participation and presence throughout this three-day Youth Global Summit. We are extremely thankful to all the session moderators. Uh, parallelly, we also understand you have a number of engagements, but you have been very gracious enough to moderate the sessions so that the sessions progress in a very successful and meaningful manner. So our appreciation to all the moderators of the session. Uh, we thank all the faculty members of RGNIYD, the students of RGNIYD. You have been active participants, and directly, indirectly, you all have helped to make this program a grand success. Uh, we thank the technical team in this difficult period uh, without the support of the technical personnel, this program would not have materialized. So the technical team led by Ram Kumar, Surendra Babu, Balakrishnan, Joe, and the entire team from ICT, 
we are extremely thankful to you for extending your technical support. Uh, we also extend our sincere thanks to the staff members in Director's Chamber, Ravi Chandran and team. Uh, very meticulously and patiently, you have smoothly handled all the communications and the entire support. Thank you so much. Uh, we also thank the administrative team, our registrar, our uh, consultant admin, our assistant registrar, all the team from the accounts section, the entire support staff, the hospitality staff, maintenance staff for enabling the success of this program. And last but not the least, we thank everyone who has been involved here uh, directly or indirectly for the success of this program. And uh, our special thanks to uh, Sir David Paul, who has been the anchor of this program. Uh, but for David Paul, who ran behind the scenes morning till evening, uh, smoothly uh, communicating, bringing out the schedules, everything, sir. Actually, it is because of this uh, one-person army. So thank you so much to David, sir, as well. And thank you, everybody. Uh, wish you a very pleasant evening. Thank you from RJNYD.